Hey, how everybody doing today, y'all? Um, news, it just happened um, that I just found out early today, but I made a video about another fight. So, uh, yeah, um, the Regis Prograis fight versus Victor Pastel. Um, Pastel suffered an injury, and um, Ndongo is uh, his replacement. Ndongo for, fought Terrence Crawford for all the marbles at 140, all the belts, the, I, the IBF, the WBO, the WBA, and the WBC. Um, and Doggo lost that fight to a third round knockout. Um, Terrence Crawford knocked him out in the third round. So, uh, and he was actually the, the I want to say he was the WBA champion and Terrence Crawford had all the other belts. No, he was, he was the, I think he was the IB, no, he was the, IBF and the WBA champion, and Terrence Crawford had a WBO and a WBC. So yeah, and they both fought. Both had two and two belts, and they put them together, pretty much like the Usyk Gassia fight. I mean the Usyk, yeah, the Usyk Gassia fight. It's pretty much what happened. But Terrence Crawford won. So with Terrence Crawford winning, he actually uh, vacated after that fight. And uh, he moved up to 147 where he's going to fight Jeff Horn. But before that, uh, Terrence Crawford knocked out Ndongo. So Ndongo, I'm not, I don't think Ndongo has fought since then, since that knockout loss. He's still at 140. And um, he's actually going to fight, he's actually going to fight uh, Ruger's Progress. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm butchering his name. He's going to fight him. They're going to fight um, in South Dakota for the WBC title eliminator. Um, so the winner of um, Iman versus Ramirez at 140. Um, the winner of that fight must fight the winner of Progress. Uh, the winner of Progress and Ndongo. Uh, me personally, man, I think... Uh, Progress is a slick southpaw, you know what I'm saying? And he's really, really slick, you know what I'm saying? He said he fought Errol Spence in the amateurs and lost a close round, a close decision. But amateurs is amateurs, you know. He got a good amateur career. Um, he did pretty good in the amateurs. Um, so, you know, he said that Errol Spence, you know, they, they both congratulate each other. And Errol Spence said he's a pretty good fighter. Um... I think progress is going to be all of all of these guys. I think progress could be the Amir Iman. I think progress could be Ramirez, and I damn sure think he can be Ndongo. Ndongo is going to get he's going to get laid out by uh, by uh, Ndongo is going to get laid out by progress. I mean because I mean he's just been walking through the 140. I mean he just it's a big 140 man. He's a big 140, dude. So for you to be able to uh, withstand his power, man, you got to be on your shit. You got to be on your shit, dude. You can't be fucking around, man. You got to be, you got to bring your A game, man. This dude's got a, a O and, he, and he's not afraid to let it go. He said he's willing to fight everybody at 140. And I mean, to be honest with you, 140 is up for grabs right now, man. Who's at 140 is a clear favorite to beat everybody at 140? Nobody in my eyes. I think I think progress, Regis progress. I think he has a good. I think he has a good uh chance of winning all the belts, man. My personal opinion. Amir Iman has very very good power, but he but his chin suspect. He got knocked out, man, by Granados. Renato's knocked his ass out and then gave Broner all he could handle. So that's not a bad knockout loss, but it's a knockout loss nonetheless. You know, and my personal opinion about the whole situation is, man, you get knocked out once, man, that's just on your mind. That shit doesn't go away. That shit, does, it stays there. It's there. It's there for good now. 
you know. It's there for good, you know. And Amir Iman is, I think, Don, he still is uh, fighting under Don King. That's like one of Don King's last fighters. You know, he stayed in the WB. If you notice, every fighter that Don King lately has has uh, represented, is all, all of them are through the WBC. And Bob Arum is through the WBO. That's weird how that works out, man. If you think about that, Bermain Stavern. Don King, represented by Don King, WBC. Romain Severn stayed the fucking WBC number one ranking and didn't fight anybody for two years and stayed in the number one rankings, man. This fucking Deontay Wilder had like seven title defenses and fucking Romain Severn had and fought one time and got knocked down in that one fight in two years and still stayed number one the whole time. Politics, man. Boxing politics. Give me a fucking break with that shit, man. It's bullshit. If you ask me, it's bullshit, man. Now, Amir Iman, I haven't seen him fighting since that Granados knockout. Loss. Obviously, he was supposed to fight for the WBC title, but he was waiting. Um, I, I know, I'm pretty sure when he fought Granados, that was, he was a number one ranked already for the WBC. But he fought him, he lost to him. Doesn't that push him back? He's still number one ranking, still? Or at least top three? I mean, come on, man. Damn, man, you got knocked the fuck out, dude. Get get back, get behind the line. Stand in line again. Don't, Don't stay, you don't get knocked out and stay number one ranking. The fuck, man? The fuck is Don King doing to these people, man? He's paying them well. Has to be. Hey, if Amir Mon wins it all, it's all worth it, I guess, you know? If he wins, you know, if he wins the whole WBC tournament, because they're having a tournament it's between them four guys. And um, so yeah, man, it's pretty much it is like it's like that, man. Uh, let me know your think. Let me know your thoughts, man. Please like and subscribe. Um, I greatly appreciate it. Just trying to build my channel up slowly but surely. <laughs> I'm going to keep putting out videos, man. Um, just show me some love, man. Show you love. Show me love. <laughs> but yeah, man. That's my thoughts, man. Have a great night, man. Later.